Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to talk about Toy Story Collection Bullseye. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. This collection Bullseye was released in 2010 by Thinkway Toys in the white logo Second Wave. And it's still to this day the best bullseye money can buy in my personal opinion. I remember racing to my local Toys R Us back in Toy Story 3 movie promotion and I remember finding it finally in a store and I was so happy to find Bullseye and the box was massive when I saw it but it was cool because it had a try me button. When you would press this button Bullseye would make some horse noises and vibrate and shake the box a little bit because he had a vibration and over 10 horse sounds and music which was pretty cool. And I really love that about it, even though I know in the movie he's probably just a ragdoll horse. I love that the box art matched Jesse's and Woody's box from the collection line. So I really like that they kept that for like the Woody's Roundup theme. I remember this toy was expensive. I think I paid retail price was, it was $60 I believe, or actually $70 for this one because it was just a bigger toy. So it's very cool and I'm glad it came with a certificate of authenticity. This is the original certificate of authenticity that I got back then. It says John Lasseter at the bottom, director, and the back is just plain cardboard. But it's cool that this held up over time. I just keep it protected. Bullseye did come with a nice acrylic stand for a display. Here's the Woody's Roundup logo. It's just plastic all around, but it's still pretty neat. And that just kind of clips in and that's it. You put this together really quickly and then you have a really nice stand for Bullseye. Bullseye himself is an incredible toy. This is the one collection toy in my collection where I can confidently say it doesn't need a mod or any modifications. Maybe there's some things that people could do to make it more movie accurate in terms of, I don't know, maybe some paint apps or something to the saddle or something else. But to me, those are very minor things that if we did mod him, it wouldn't need much paint really. But I'm just overall just super happy with it. Plus, I don't want to modify this toy because it's really old, rare, and expensive now. So that is something I don't want to do. And if you look at the bottom of the hooves, they are blank because you're supposed to write your own initials on them. Um, it would be cool to add Andy to it, but because I want to preserve the Thinkway Toys Factory bullseye, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave it as is, but it's an overall really cool toy. It's got like this rubbery flexible plastic here. These are pretty hard plastic on the bottom. Everything else is just a plush ragdoll body, which is really true to bullseye in the movie. If you see Andy, you know, playing with him and throwing him around, he is this plush toy, so that's cool. The tail feels like a felt material, so does the main part here. His eyes are indeed hard plastic, and this part of his mouth is a hard plastic as well. I wish they would have painted the tongue detail, but it's minor. And it looks really good though. Overall, this is the, the one collection toy I can confidently say looks most like the character straight out of the movie, and they did a good job stuffing him as well, so. It's a very solid toy and I'm just glad he survived <laughs> for the past 13 years on my display shelf. Now on the bottom here it's Velcro and his voice box is in here. Unfortunately my bullseye, I don't know because over the years something got pulled or the wiring or something when I used to do live actions with this. I wonder if it pulled something because I have to get it fixed. It no longer works. I tried putting in new batteries and it ha does have a trigger button right here that you press but unfortunately mine doesn't work so I need to get mine repaired or just get a replacement one but that's where you put the batteries in the compartment there so unfortunately my bullseye does not work now putting it on the stand is just the coolest part it just completes the look on your shelf uh, you know so bullseye has a place to look like he's standing up ready to run away for adventure <laughs> so I like that a lot it's very nice and it's really really cool to have this in my collection after all these years, it's held up. It has not fallen apart, ripped. The only thing that stopped working is the electronics. But because Bullseye is supposed to be a ragdoll horse anyways, it doesn't bother me too much. But I do want to fix, resolve that issue in the future. Maybe find a way to fix the wiring. I have to open it up. But see, there's a trigger button. You can hear it clicking. That's where you would press it and you'd play songs and sounds and vibrate as well. I didn't really like the vibrate feature. I felt like that was kind of unnecessary. I didn't understand why they did a vibrate feature, but the music and the sounds were fun 
and enjoyable. And I did do a comparison video between this collection bullseye and signature collection bullseye. If you want to see that comparison review, click the card here in the corner of your screen. It'll take you to that video where I compare the white logo that you see there versus the yellow logo to show you the differences. And my opinion is this one is the best version. It's the best looking one, color wise, shape wise, you know, quality wise, I think they did the best on the earlier version. Not that the signature is bad, but I feel like this is just overall better. And I love the way he looks with the rest of the Roundup Gang. Let's say you can't afford to buy this because they go for a lot of money on eBay now. And let's say you can't afford to buy this. If you want an alternative plush bullseye for your collection, I would recommend the Disney Store plush. This is the latest one that they released from the Disney Store. He's just a little bit slightly bigger than the collection bullseye, this Disney Store one. If you put him up like he's on a stand, he's just slightly bigger proportion wise, like his head is probably a little bit too big, but overall it's not a bad alternative. You know, it does look a little more goofy because he's meant to be a plush. There's no hard plastic on his eyes like this one or on, on the mouth part. And the mouth doesn't open like collections bullseye sculpt there. But overall, if you want a fun plush for about 20 bucks or so, get the Disney store bullseye plush. He actually does have Andy on the bottom of his feet here. You can see A-N-D-Y. So that's pretty cool. So if I couldn't afford the collection version, you know, you'll be happy with this Disney Store plush because it's ragdoll. It's fun. You can throw it around and it's not that valuable. So you won't be worried about destroying it. But that's just a fun alternative if you don't have the collection version. And for fun, here's my 2009 Clown Pattern Toy Story Collection Woody, not modified on top of Collection Bullseye. I think they look awesome together. They scale perfectly. And this is Toy Dreams right here for me to have Collection Bullseye with Collection Woody from Thinkway Toys. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> and I love Jesse here. This is my movie actor, Modified Jesse, with the UK Mattel body and a signature head sculpt. In the future, I do want to get a more accurate head sculpt. But for now, she's the best Jesse for my collection. And then, of course, we have Stinky Pete back there in his display right here in the box, mint in the box, never been opened. So they look great together in my collection. And yeah, I just love this bullseye. I wanted to talk about him because I realized I never did a review on him. So this was my chance to talk a little bit more about Toy Story Collection Bullseye from 2010, Thinkway Toys. As always, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, see you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.